Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons 2. And last time, we uh, went to the Nether, and we got ourselves some Blaze Rods. And these are going to be absolutely game-changing for us. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... How many blocks, of course, did we need to? We're going to go ahead and upgrade our spell book to the second tier. Assuming we have some obsidian. I do. Nice. So this will allow us to, uh, to learn and use tier 2 glyphs. And some of those are extremely powerful. And we're going to get to it pretty much right away. Now for second tier glyphs... We're going to need second tier clay, and we do that with a uh, source gem, a gold, and two lapis each. And ten will get us started. Let's uh, get our war notebook out, because we're going we're gonna to need to look these up. There's all kinds of them. Um, we are going to begin with heal. It's just a glistering mountain. A good healing spell can be the, the difference between victory and death. So, this is definitely a thing that we want. We've also got, where is it, explosion. And we're going to want a lot of these, these modifiers, like, uh, you know, extend time, AoE, all stuff we want. Amplified 2? Well, okay. Okay, we got a bunch more glyphs to play with. Let's see. We're going to start with uh, heal. We're going to put two regular amplify on it. And three extend time will get us up to regen three. So hopefully this will be a... Uh, Pretty significant. We're gonna want uh, clear effects just in case. And I think that'll do for now. There's a couple more glyphs I want to learn before we uh, we start going hunting some big bats. Now I want to get a drigmy set up. Um, and to do that, I also want to use the same source setup. I only want to make one of those. Um, so we're going to make two more relays, first of all. And then one of them we're going to make into a source relay splitter. It's just uh, one of these plus four lapis, four quartz. And this thing does exactly what you might expect. It'll split a beam of source. Uh, we can send it to uh, jars. We can send it to other relays, which is what we're going to do. And everything will be copacetic. There it is. Very cool. So we're going to get our Dominion Wand out. And uh, can I... Clear all the yeah not really maybe just do that with this with the relays we're gonna set a position here and we're gonna set this re set this to uh, come to the splitter relay and then we're gonna click on the splitter we're gonna click over there and we're going to put another relay right over here and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to set position to here, and then we're going to set this position to here, and this is going to start filling up the source. Now we did pick up a Drink Me Charm somewhere, uh, probably in one of those uh, one of those dungeons or something, and I think that kind of fish will work for this. Well, let's find out. Now, okay, so let's get rid of that. 
what is this from? That's from Fins and Tails, so maybe Fins and Tails doesn't work. Let's try Aquaculture Fish. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we know. Fins and Tails doesn't work. I guess they're not tagged as fish for porridge. Now we know. Now, the Drigme is similar to the Sylph, except instead of growing things, it does mobs. This is, you just right-click your charm on a mossy cobble. It'll turn into a Drigme henge, and then you'll get your boy. Um, depending on, you know, quantity and diversity of the mobs around, he will produce their resources, and that is not limited to passive mobs. He'll do hostels too, which is the point of these cells back there. How are we going to get mobs in here? Well, well, we'll be getting to that. Now we've just got sheep, cows, and chickens out here for the time being, so we don't really need to worry about uh, about like setting up uh, another rat out here. And also maybe having to worry about finding a way for the rat to get in and out of here. I really thought they went under fences, but I guess they don't. Next thing we're looking at is moving mobs. And I hope we're going to be able to do that with the extra dimensional eye. I don't know what limitations it might have in this pack, but we can craft it. So... Pretty cool. Now what you do is just like it says you shift right click where you're standing and that sets Okay, so we've got as uh, long as it resides in the same dimension. That's our uh, That's our little what do you call it? Uh, that's our limit <laughs> It's got to be got to be something from the overworld. That's fine There's plenty of stuff in the overworld that I would like to have nearby the base. So, it's got a bound location. And now, let's go out and see if we can't find like a pig or something. Why not one of these little guys? There it goes. And there he is. River Pebble Sam. I guess the other thing is, it looks like these are single use, so uh, we'll have to keep that in mind. We can't go absolutely hog with these. This frog has a sweater. That's amazing. A zebra's tempting, isn't it? Pig's gonna be a lot more useful to us in the long run. Uh huh. I see pillager banners. I'm going to assume this is an unfriendly place. Let's see. Been here? I'm not sure. Oh! No, I feel like we haven't been here. Um. <laughs> We can just take this rabbit out. That's nice. Oh! If we got too close, we would have let that ravager out. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Now up here, there gotta be a way in, right? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's somebody. That's a tough. That's a tough at all. The question is, can we get into their house here? Is there another ravager over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Into this place. I can't rob you if you don't have a door. Oh, here we go. Maybe? Those are the stairs. Let me just 
must not be a convenient way into this place. A couple Ravagers around, though. This one has 380 hit points. That's kind of amazing. Alright, let me deal with this guy. Ah, I ran out of arrows. Let's see. <laughs> oh, you know what we should do? Let's see, uh, let's go back to Ouchie here. And let's extend the time. Yeah. Now it'll damage him over time. Very fancy. Alright, he's dead. What do we have here? A little bit of wool? Anything in here besides pumpkins? Uh, oh, there's a jerk! A jerk with a diving helmet. I don't know if they're just spawning around here. Or, uh... These guys are already here to begin with. I've never seen one of these structures before. Let's, uh... Oh, let's do some lag. I'm starting to think the, uh... The entrance is, like, overgrown. <laughs> yeah, you too, buddy. Oh, here's the way. I see. light this up for the time being. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? We got these towers. Here we go, this is the way up. Here's another spawner. And lit up over here and I guess we can go even farther up I'm getting sniped oh I'm bleeding that's all we're just gonna leave some of these be because I don't know if there are rewards all this, we gotta... Oh, that's what tripwire books look like, huh? We'll take the wolf spirit. And let's throw all this away for the time being. Okay, yeah, there is a quest for killing bunches of pillagers. Okay, that was... Oh, quite a fight through here. We got a little slime. <laughs> Nothing super great. That's cool. But, uh, you know, nothing to write home about. Now, we did get another perk, so we still can't increase Jailer, but we can increase Shadow Walker, so that's what we're gonna do. Aha! A pig! Awesome! You'll find another one will be styling. Wonderful. Now there's some quest like encounter a bear. Yeah, okay. I would prefer not to hurt it. 
It's just a bear. Cool. Okay. That's how you encounter a bear. Now, before we get into the next thing we're going to do with that mechanic, I want to go ahead and cash in some quests. Let's see, where is this one? Because they're so busy, I can't reliably see what we've completed here. Here we go, way up here. We got randomite, a little bit of gold. And then down here, we have bear encounter. All right. Honeycombs, some salmon, and some bandages. Naturally, they are very neutral mobs, though. <laughs> Grizzly bears will just house you for no reason. Let's see what else we have here. We got we found a rotten egg. So that's cool. And then we got the pillager. Oh yeah, we gotta kill like a skillion pillagers. Okay, but we did get... Well, we're gonna spend it on endurance again. Um, take our endurance not quite to 39. And inside the randomite is an emerald. I guess this is about how far down you have to dig for this guy to spawn. <laughs> oh, boy. Now we got the very basics. Very beginning. Of the very basic, or whatever I'm trying to say, is it's the beginnings of the start of a commencement to proceed for a little villager breeder, and we're gonna go ahead and set an eye here, and we're gonna set an eye. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay, and we're gonna go. Engage in a little light kidnapping. Also, I can't climb ladders. There we go. Yeah, the villages are easy enough to pick out. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, this is not a village. We just uh, wasted a couple levels. Let's try Crummerer. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, we're over here. Like, super dangerous. Um, let's, uh, let's turn all of these on and see if we can figure out which one is a village. <laughs> okay, let's see. Doesn't look like there's one over there. That's who knows what. Okay, this one. Cross Almer Cred. Fantastic. There we go. I have to remember that they get uh, goofy names. Those waystones. Even if it's not a village one. Okay, now who's this boy? We got an oceanographer. You'll do fine. And who else? We got another oceanographer. Yeah. Okay, we got one. We don't have two where we want them. That's life, I suppose. Okay, I have an idea. We're just going to uh, make it so that these are the only beds they can get at. We might need to give him a little more room to be happy in there. I'm not sure. Crying out loud. Hey! Oh. Well. That's convenient. Not complaining about that. Okay. Put the beds right back down. And we're gonna hook these boys up. Do 
I have a magnet on. I'm sure I, I have a magnet on, don't I? Yep. Always with the magnet. So let's, uh... Throw these guys some breads. I got two stacks here. And they should... Start making little babies. Hold on, little baby. You want to make a little baby? Yes, you are. Hey, little guy. Hello. You're going to live in a tiny little box? Okay, we have some really terrible timing with the blood moon. I, I lit it up as, as quick as I could. But, uh, we'll see if our boys survive. So while the blood moon's working itself out, there's a little something I want to check out here. Carter Gomez had mentioned that uh, we can take these rings and repair them and upgrade them in the smithing table, and it's true. Block a diamond will take uh, an uncommon to a rare. This one is an uncommon. Now what I want to know is if we upgrade it, can, can we upgrade it with netherite, like, directly? I don't know. Let's find out. No. Okay. So it'll take a block of diamonds. Let's, uh, you know, we get netherite just by mining netherrack in the nether, and we're going to be we're going to have some digging to do in the nether, um, I'm afraid. Okay, yeah, so that'll... And that'll give it resistance, also. That's cool. And if we put it in netherite, um, it'll also give us knockback resistance? That's cool. We're going to save the netherite for now, but uh, we're going to have to remember that mechanic. That's really sweet. It's like a zombie party over there. Oh, we're going to have to deal with all that probably when the sun rises. And since we've gone to the nether, the progressive difficulty mod are going to make all these boys tougher. So, well, that's, that's the way it goes. Ho oh ho! The villagers summoned a golem. That's nice. Let's see. I hear a spider. Let's just clean all this out. Man, this guy did a great job. It's either the plan is to make all of this out here safe. Um, with kind of like the farms defining the back wall of the place and down this way. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how these boys are doing. Oh, they're doing good. Wonderful. There we go. Take three of these guys. I really want the oceanographer to go up there, but that's a life. Oh no! Oh, I thought we had, I thought we had that dealt with. We do not. Okay, that's life. Bye, buddy. Uh, we got our first stick mats. Now uh, let's begin the, the arduous process of getting these boys one by one into position. Oh, this is going to be an absolute treat, isn't it? Okay, let's bring this down. 
get it off the tracks here. All right, we'll get this dealt with. Hey, very nice. I'll we'll just get him over here. And get him onto this track. I'm gonna turn the power on. All right, buddy, ready? Ready? Now, what we want to do, if at all possible, is get the minecart back without hurting him. So, let's see. Can we do it? We can hit the fletching table. We can hit the planks. I got an idea. There we go. I can't get closer. <laughs> oh, and now he's down here. Oh, for crying out loud. Take two. <laughs> this is going to take ages. Okay, so this time... We got him blocked. Right? Oh, we hit him. And he's bleeding. Oh, let's, uh... Projectile, heal, some amplification. Let's see if we can do a little better here. Oh, I'm on self -heal. Oh, we didn't save it. Oh, I'm panicking. It's going to be trickier than we thought. There are the hitboxes. So let's see if we can just, well, first of all, we're going to have to get, dude, really? Come on, hold still. We're going to have to get these acacia planks out of there. And then we're going to have to hit the minecart, just like so. Nope. I want you to go this way. Nope, nope, not that way. Oy, oy, oy. Dude! Ah! Okay, we're gonna try this with a trap door. He should come back in here eventually. His workstation is here. So. Oy, 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 these guys. Oh, there are two of them out here? Oh. All right, this is an absolute fiasco. Um, let's uh, get our boy. Oh, uh. oh, those aren't on. I just turned them off. Nope, nope, nope. You going up? There we go. He should stop down here. I'm gonna block this off. And we're gonna hit the minecart, not the villager. There we go. How do you like them apples? Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I, I, that guy is gonna hate my guts. And that thing wants to kill me. Now, we're going to have to keep that in mind. So, that's fun. 
Okay, well, we got the strap now, anyway. Let's, uh, see if this guy really is mad at me, huh? Are you? You're not that mad. That's good. Okay, let's, uh... Alright, we got another one up. Right, right. We will set you free. And here we go again. Get in the minecart. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. I thought they weren't supposed to do that. I didn't think they, they would just like walk on rails. Oh, this is enough to drive me absolutely out of my mind. It's necessary though, we, we gotta do it. We have had, I, I have crafted so much paper and <laughs> we just got the quest completion now. That's a, uh, you know, these gated quests, they're, they're hard to write. <sighs> these guys are gonna be the death of me. I really did not think these guys were supposed to pathfind over rails. That was, that was like everything I'm doing depended on that. Um, <sighs> all right, let's get some workstations over here. Maybe it'll attract these other boys. Yeah, there we go. There we go. They're not going to get in the mine carts. But oh my gods, can you climb up the block, please? Go on, you. Oh, now where are you going? Absolutely, just... <laughs> well, it's officially a village. I'm gonna have to be careful of raiders. I've been dealing with these guys for so long, I was actually glad to see the wandering trader. <laughs> That's some interesting stuff. I did buy this Eye of a Fire Dragon. I don't know if it's like a single use, like it'll show you where a fire dragon is, or... Or what? I also bought a globe. And uh, we're gonna... It's just a nice little decorative item. But this place is <clears throat> basically done. And it's safe, so we shouldn't have to panic the next time the blood moon rises. But we got, uh, you know, some pretty good enchantments. And, uh, you know places to get emeralds from. We've also got this more villagers mod, and like, you know, this guy will he'll sell us honeycomb, which is cool. This guy gives us like, like, redstone stuff. Then we got some who will give us emeralds for tree stuff. And then I got an endless bow. What I'm really curious about though is there's, there's another guy. There's also an end guy. Um, I have a few spare villagers downstairs. We may explore that. Now, I just want to see if we can level this guy up and see what sorts of things he might give us. Okay, so we can get another quartz ore from him. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, and at the next level... Okay, you'll have emeralds for obsidian. That's, uh... It's not that great. But the, uh, the nether quartz is fantastic. And of course, the big deal is mending. Like, and also, socketed three? Like, check this out. We got an extra 2.59% attack damage and 1.6 attack speed. So... I think we might even be able to upgrade that. We'll see if we can figure it out. And we also managed to pick up Endless Quiver, which uh, is compatible with Mending. And it's like, uh, like a true infinity. It'll... any arrow you got. So we can just like spam arrows of slowness now. It's pretty sweet. 
So now that we got that together, we're gonna do what I what I've been doing a little bit on and off today, uh, to kind of blow off steam about <laughs> dealing with those villagers. Um, I tell you, dealing with villagers the vanilla way is uh, it's something. Um, but I've been doing a little bit of work on that one dungeon. Um, now that we know that the spawners will uh will run out eventually i've just been kind of working my way through the remains of the third floor when uh i've been out here and there's a blood moon up but when there isn't a blood moon i've been working the zombie spawner and i don't know how much life this has left in it pretty sure it's got some Yep, here they come. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come to your doom. Come to your doom. There you go. They get a look at you. They definitely want to. Oh, mending. Mending at last, folks. It's, it's been a long day with those villagers. But, uh... It's worth it. Oh, another undead army. It's always got to be something, doesn't it? We don't get much from defeating these things, as we discovered. So, I'm just going to go back down into the dungeon. Let the army sort itself out. And I think that's where we're going to leave it off this time, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.